hey, you're not going to believe this new pipeline. So this is Gemini CLI through my webcam or my iPhone to banana, nano banana, to VO3. So from a prompt within two minutes, an AI photo and a video with audio, with audio from a prompt. So let me show you what I mean. So how do I go from this still photo? All right, how do I go from this still photo from my webcam to this banana AI hand-drawn sketch to this animated video? Okay, isn't that crazy? So let's see how it's done. Let me show you how to do one live first, and then we'll switch over and we'll look at the code and how this is all done. It's a mix of three or four different technologies, model context protocol, custom slash commands, Gemini CLI, and then we bolt on the banana and the VO via the MCP. So let's go back and let's do something live here with a terminal. So, we're going to go into our jamming folder and um, we're going to launch Gemini CLI, uh, Gemini dash YOLO. Whoops. Gemini dash YOLO. Now I'm recording from my Mac over here with the green screen. It kind of actually helps, I think. So I'm going to do slash vision. Uh, sorry, slash. Let's just check the MCPs that we have. Where did the vision go? I understand what happened. I wanted to start from scratch to show you how easy this was to get going. So you can see there was no vision. So we're going to go to GitHub Automate Your Network, Repositories, and find the Gemini Vision extension. All right, in the instructions for now, since I already have the extensions folder, I'm just going to copy this one line and go back to my root here and paste that in. All right, sorry for the hiccup there. I forgot that I had deleted it to start the demo from scratch. So now, now when I launch Gemini in YOLO mode, and I'm going to go back into the my jamming folder, my, um, you know, where I vibe code here, because I don't like doing it in root, and it doesn't like to be run in root. So I'm going to run into jamming, and we're going to do Gemini CLI, or Gemini YOLO. And we're going to do slash MCP to explore this. Yeah, it is loading the new MCP. All right, here we go, good. So now when I do slash MCP, we can see the vision. And within vision, we have banana to do a webcam to banana, but now we have VO generate. So let's do vision VO and a prompt of can you take a webcam capture of the bearded man driving this session and transform it into a um, 16 bit pixelized 1990s video game character and then animate this capture you transform into an eight second clip of the game being played with an action-based 16-bit sound 
track. All right, now I'm gonna just sit still and not make any, well, maybe I'll do the smiley face. Um, we'll see, let's just wait and see. So the vision status gets checked and then it's gonna turn on the webcam and then it's going to check the status again and take a picture. So let's get a smile going. All right, so there's the picture. So if I go into the, if I launch another terminal and head into that jamming session and um, do an LS, we're going to see these files come in. So let's uh, launch this in VS Code so we can take a look at this while it happens. Um, so there's the 16-bit. Uh, there's the original frame. There's the 16-bit. Look at how awesome that is. <laughs> look at how awesome that is. No way with the gray in the... Oh, wow. All right. So there's the frame. There's the 16 bit and now it's working on, you can see the input path has the frame image and the VO has the, uh, right? There's the banana path. So the VO should be using the banana path as that image input. And we should see inside of this folder um, a new MPEG appear. So that's the old MPEG. Uh, we should see a new MPEG appear. We can kind of watch them side by side. It takes, it takes approximately, I've seen it takes, there we go. So there's the new one. And there's the video game. So can I play this right in VS Code? I mean, that's cool. Let's watch it in uh, in the MPEG viewer. Uh, hang on. Okay, so that's maybe the coolest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Let's make a Okay, I mean that is uh, that is quite remarkable. So let's switch back over. Sorry, the input's off now. Let's switch back over to the other computer and let's take a look at the code and how this was done. All right, thank you. Okay, so isn't that pretty cool? So I have two different scenarios: a hand-drawn sketch, uh, a 16-bit version. The pipeline is simple. I would argue this is the probably the path of least resistance to go from an image, from a webcam or a phone, all the way through to VO3. You get the capture, the banana capture, the animation and audio, all through just a prompt, right? And you've seen how easy this is to install. You just install the extension. So let's take a look at what goes on behind the scenes here. Um, first of all, I wanna start on the website I started here this morning, and this has been available for a while, but not with, along with Gemini CLI, right? So we follow the cookie crumbs into the Gemini API, and I took some of this code on how to generate videos from images, and some of this code um, to customize your generation with parameters. I combined those into an MCP into this vision extension. All right, so from an MCP point of view, um, you can see here's my banana MCP that I added yesterday. My, not MCP, the tool that's part of this MCP server. One of the tools is the banana generate. And now the next tool is the VO generate. And we have all of the, right, the Python transformed into model context protocol Python. And now we can support the image from banana and turn it into video. Now, in terms of adding this, I had my banana toml. I added a new VO toml. 
that has access to the vision status, vision start, vision capture, banana generate, and VO generate tools via the MCP. Here's the workflow, and here's the behavior I want it to exhibit. That was it. And now you can start doing this at home uh, and having a lot of fun with family, friends, kids, yourself, maybe real production grade stuff, maybe artistically express yourself because you can use the iPhone too. So if you had an object you wanted to take a picture of, you could set this up, turn it on, get the capture with your iPhone of your dog or your cat or your children or some piece of thing in your home and, and turn that image into the banana image and then the video. All right, well, thanks again. And, and really, try this out. I'd love to see what you come up with. Thank you.